Hello everyone, Aga here. I would like to give you a, an update two years after my water fast. I did fast with Lauren two years ago. Uh, I finished my fast on January 19th, I think, two years ago. I fasted for 22 days. So the first time you could see me on his channel right here was right after my fast. Um, I'm sure the video is still there. And then I did another update on my channel and now I was asked to do one more update two years later um, here again. So, um, to keep things short, I did a water fast because I was diagnosed with a brain tumor probably five years ago and um, I did not do any surgery, any biopsy or anything like that. I kept, like, like they say, monitoring it, I kept doing MRIs uh, regularly to see if it's growing or not. So at some point it did, it did grow. Um, it, it increased in size 25% within 10 or 11 months. So that was, that was a big change and at that point um, I, I knew that I had to do something right now. Um, there was, you know, not much time to think. So I went to do water fast very quickly after I found out. Um, my doctors were telling me that I had to have it removed, that it had to be done, that otherwise I would, it, it would keep growing, I would have terrible symptoms. They were telling me that within two weeks I would start getting headaches, I would get, be getting dizzy and um, just feel lightheaded and, and keep, you know, keep losing my balance and stuff like that. So none of this ever happened. <laughs> um, when I had uh, my MRI done after my fast, the tumor did not grow anymore. I never got any symptoms whatsoever at all. Um, then I had one more MRI and the size was still the same. So right now I'm um, MRI free. <laughs> I call it this way. I do not do any more MRIs because I do not feel any need for it. I might do one more or two more whatever in the future, but for now I don't think that I need it. I don't feel the need for it. The tumor did not grow anymore, even though my doctors were telling me that it will keep growing the same rate as it did grow before. Um, I do believe that the water fast had a huge effect on it, that it, it influenced um, the tumor and my whole body uh, in a positive way. And so that helped the tumor to stop growing to my body to handle the situation much, much better. Um, and. Um, other things improved as well. I did notice some changes. I did notice change, for example, in my skin. It doesn't get dry at all anymore, like not even a little bit. Um, so there, there are some smaller changes as well after after this, the fast I slipped. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, those, those small changes happen as well. Um, the fast itself wasn't an issue for me too much. I did not find it difficult. It was difficult at the end because I was, I'm, I'm normally uh, a skinny person. So I lost a lot of, a lot of energy. And at the, the end of it, I was just, I was just done. Um, but eating, not eating was not an issue for me. Um, honestly, the hardest part for me was refeeding at home then I, I really found it difficult, I really found it hard to uh, to handle that, to know what to do, to know how much to eat and stuff like that. I did have, um, I, I did have an issue with that after I left um, the, the center. So that was the hardest part for me, the refeeding situation. Um, I did, I was already a fruitarian before my fast for a couple of years, I think, two, three years. Um, and, and I stayed fruitarian afterwards, so my diet is, you know, mostly uh, mostly fruit, some salads, uh, sometimes, occasionally, some raw vegan gourmet uh, meals, but this is mostly mostly fruit, especially now that I live in Costa Rica as well. You know, fruit here is amazing. Um, and yeah, so that's um, that's my update. I feel I feel very very well in general. I do have more energy. I sleep less because I don't need that much sleep, and it's still it stayed after the fast for me. So um, my whole family is pretty much the same. We all eat the same way. My kids were raised um, on, on a fruitarian diet. They still eat a fruitarian diet. Now they're waiting for coconut water. Coconut water is awesome. Um, it's early in the morning and this is our first meal usually. Almost every day we drink coconut water first, um, first thing in the morning. And then, and then we go with watermelons or papayas or whatever else we have, whatever else the kids want. And um, I'm not planning to change that um, anytime soon. Um, I never say never because you never know what will happen in the future, but this is a way of living that I do highly recommend to any, every, everyone and anyone. Um, it's, it's amazing. It, it really helps a lot and um, not only you, your body, but also environment and any animals, which are very important for everyone as well. So that's my update. I hope that you guys found it um, valuable 
at all, a, a little bit at least. And I wish you all the best in this crazy world. <laughs> sending, sending a lot of hugs and a lot of positive energy and sun. And I might see you again. Bye.